Good afternoon guys and welcome to Vlogmas number three. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call them, like episodes, numbers, days. I think episodes makes more sense. Anyway, I hope you're all doing good and enjoying the December month so far. It's actually almost three o'clock and I don't normally start my vlogs at this time, but not a lot has happened today. Um, it's been an at home admin kind of day, but now B and I are off to London Grace to get our nails done. Today was the first day that everything opened back up again. So that's so exciting. I cannot wait to get my nails sorted out because they are not looking great right now. And I'm thinking of going for something festive which I never normally do I'm not normally a seasonal nails kind of girl I almost always just go for pale pink nails but I'm thinking let's go for something a little bit more festive so I'm excited for that she's coming along with me and so are you guys I'm in such a comfortable outfit today I can actually fall asleep I've got my top shop teddy coat on and my top shop joggers I've got some penguin cozy socks on so I'll just chuck on a pair of boots and leave the house right now Sorry. Can I ask how you say your first name? It's Baven. Baven. Yeah. We've got some Virgin Mojitos to have whilst we get our nails done. We are currently just in London Grace at the moment. I have got some foils to remove some old gels that I've got myself. And I think it's a really cute dog. Oh my god. It's a little jumper. So this is my Christmas nail no, boat for today. It's a pretty pink nudie colour with some sparkles on the top. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. This is what B is getting, but with green instead of white. So I've now I've got myself a hot chocolate, and I'm currently just putting on the glitter. Um, it's like a glitter ombre, and it looks so pretty. I'll show you guys a close up in a minute. Just came home to these two huge boxes. Well, one of them is huge on our doorstep, so I'm gonna open them up with you guys. It looks like they're from Charles Ted, which is a really lovely interior brand, so I'm very excited for this. I feel like we haven't bought, apart from like Christmassy stuff, we haven't bought anything for the apartment in ages. I can't remember what I ordered, this is quite a while ago. This is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. So I started off with some Christmassy bits. We ordered these really pretty like paper angels. And you can even hang these on the tree or like hang these around the house. These are just so pretty. Oh, look at these. So cute, aren't they? Oh my god, they're adorable. Um, oh my god, look, they match my nails. Let me show you guys my nails properly. Um, they've got little sparkly heads, halos, and then you can hang them wherever you want. So you've got the big size and then the smaller size as well. I honestly do not know what was inside these. I cannot remember. Oh, these are so cute. <laughs> I got these little battery operated Christmas trees. And then finally, I ordered some new pillowcases for the sofa. Um, at the moment, we just have plain black. I just thought these kind of tie in the white of our apartment a little bit better. And they're gorgeous. I think this is their collaboration with Paloma Living, I want to say. Could be wrong, but I'll link everything down below. Here's what they look like on the sofa. I think they look really perfect. It really fits everything in nicely and I like the way that they have a white border. And then this has a black border. I think it looks really cute. So the polar bear that was sitting on top of the tree has now been demoted and 
got an angel now, which I think is a bit more traditional. Oh my god, and let me show you guys my nails. So I went for like a pink with a gold ombre glitter, which is perfect for me because obviously I always wear my pink nail polish. But then I put the gold to tie in with my jewellery and make it a little bit more festive. And yeah, London Grace always do the most neat job I've ever had with nails. Yeah, look, there's not a single mistake or mark. The cuticles are perfect. I'm just obsessed, they're honestly the best. They've got loads of stores around London as well, so if you're in London, definitely go to them. Good morning, guys. It is, oh my God, it looks so funny. It's six o'clock in the morning. Just jumped out of the shower. So I'm up early because I have a laser appointment at nine, so I'm gonna leave here about half eight, but before I leave, I need to film some stories um, for a brand I'm working with. Brief came through yesterday and they want the stories today so i'm just gonna get that done as soon as possible get it out of the way before the appointment you have to fully exfoliate and shave like everywhere everywhere you're getting the stuff done anyway so i'm feeling so lovely right now it's just the best feeling ever and yeah i am on my third session of laser post lockdown i think i had three maybe three or four before lockdown and this was last winter and then i went like six months without getting laser when it, the clinics were closed and that kind of just made us start from the scratch again so i'm starting from scratch and this is my third session back and i'd say my hair is not so much reduced but it's so much thinner which is amazing it means i have to shave maybe like once every two weeks but not even that um, so it's really thin and it also grows back really slowly. I used to have to shave maybe like every other day, now I'm shaving to every two weeks, which on its own is just a dream, but obviously the goal is to get rid of every single bit of hair. Uh, I want to be one of those hairless cats. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting everything done pretty much. I'm getting my underarms, Hollywood, legs, yeah, just those actually. I know that's a bit too much information to share on the internet, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I go to therapy clinic, which is really lovely. It's such a beautiful clinic. It's all like marble um, and it's very cheap. It's in Mayfair. Yeah, it's in Mayfair. But yeah, I'm not going to say if I recommend it until I finish the treatment. Um, they're very kindly gifting me this laser treatment. I like if any brand collaboration or any brand gifting, never agree to recommend anything until I've tried it myself. And even though I've tried it, what, like six times now, I obviously haven't had the results because you have to have like, like eight sessions. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you guys a full review until I've finished, but I'm sure it will work. I'm sure it'll be fine. Sorry, but look how much that has depuffed my face. This is the best thing ever. Okay, let's go. The best feeling is waking up and turning on the Christmas lights. It makes me so happy. I just think it's such a nice way to wake up. So I've just left the house. I'm currently looking like an old lady. Um, it's so cold, dark and rainy outside, so that's why the hood is up. Um, my whole outfit is from Nasty Girl. Well, it's my first time on the tube in months it felt so weird it was so dead and it's rush hour as well so that's kind of weird anyway i am just about to arrive at therapy clinic here it is Currently in Selfridges, about to go to the Brasserie of Light, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous place to have brunch. 
Um, it's so like perfect for like after shopping brunch and stuff. So I'm going to meet B here for some breakfast. It feels so weird to be out. Um, it feels so nice though to be sat in a restaurant. I haven't done that in a long time. And look how pretty it is. So apparently just waiting for B. B's arrived. Looking lovely as ever. Is that your natural hair? Yes. That looks so good. I used the new cream. Oh, it looks lovely. So I'm thinking of getting the veggie breakfast. Is it possible to swap out some things in the veggie breakfast? Yeah. Oh. This um, immunity smoothie is so nice. It's lovely. And B's got a coffee, both the veggie breakfast. Very happy. How unreal are these bathrooms? Insane. I absolutely love Selfridges. During this time of year, it's just so beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Thank you. Better. Thank you. Thank Trying on some Cartier rings, not that I'm gonna buy it, but. Dee wants me to buy her a Rolex. Oh, yeah, I want the green one. Okay, darling, anything for you? I love this. I'm thinking about getting this one in black. Um, I just think it's so gorgeous. Love these two ones here, they're so pretty. Look at these teeny tiny. Tiny little handbags, how cute! One really good thing about masks is they keep your face dry and warm. I'm so, so snug right now. Yeah, but mine um, sucks in to my mouth when I breathe. <laughs> and he's got like a silk one that's really flimsy. I think there's one for the oh, yeah. Um, look how pretty this street is though. Love Christmas lights. Get some photos. I want to get a pic of this outfit because I think it's really cute. Um, so we're just going to walk to the station, get a pic on the way. It is raining though, which isn't ideal, but... Do a cute like umbrella pic maybe. Do you want to get a pic as well, B? Um, I'll sit, yeah, maybe. We're also talking to Louis Vuitton on the way home because they have like, these really cute little um, like card holders that you attach to your keys. And I always forget my card holder. So I'm thinking if I had like a nice one to attach to my keys, I won't forget it. And it's quite cheap as well for Louis Vuitton. Like, well, it's not cheap, but for Louis Vuitton, it's cheap. <laughs> My favourite road in London, apart from Regent Street, I like Regent Street as well. But I just think Bond Street is just so pretty. All the lights, all the stores always have such beautiful displays. Look how cute these boots are. And there's a whole outfit actually, it's gorgeous. I love the puffer. guys we are now home i've just had a really cute delivery of some christmas wrapping paper from etsy it's made out of recycled paper and it's handmade which is super cute so i'm going to do like a christmas wrapping video soon for you guys and that's going to be really exciting i'm honestly desperate to wrap my presents like now but i'm waiting so i can do it with you guys also has anyone else like this i am so terrible at buying presents because as soon as I buy them, I'm desperate to tell the person. Like, I've nearly told B about 100 times to say what I've got her. I've got half of her present, and it's not your normal Christmas present, but she's going to absolutely love it. So, I've been trying not to tell her for since I've got it. B, how hard is it for me not to tell you your Christmas present? Yeah, you have said that about 20 times. You don't know what it is, though, do you? No, you haven't told me. Yeah, I've been good. But I've been really close. I was actually really, really, really close the other day, wasn't I? Yeah. I was like, should I tell you? And you were like, yeah. And I was like... Okay. Anyway, I have got changed because I just shot a campaign, which is always really exciting. I love shooting campaigns and I really enjoy shooting campaigns that are for the brands rather than for myself because sometimes I'll do things for the brands to put on like their social medias 
or push out on like their ads and stuff and I just find it really fun like I can get like a bit creative and with my content on my Instagram I just like to keep it really low key and normal and quite natural so I kind of just film things and shoot things has how I would normally but when it's with a brand I feel like I can kind of be but when it's with a brand I feel like I can be a little bit more creative and do something a little bit different because because I know that that's what the brand wants to see so anyway I'm just ranting now anyway now I'm going to fake tan I haven't fake tanned in like two weeks and I'm feeling well but ghosty you're not supposed to fake tan after you've had laser done but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I think we're not supposed to get it done in case it has like a reaction or like your skin gets like sensitive. My skin is like the least sensitive thing ever. So I'm thinking it'll be okay. The laser actually really hurt today. Well, it didn't really hurt, but I could feel it. Normally I can't feel anything. It's normally just like a kind of cool breeze on your legs or wherever you're getting it done. But today I could feel like a kind of like a snapping, which it wasn't bad, but it just was weird. But yeah, it wasn't painful, but it just felt kind of strange. Especially when all the other times it didn't hurt at all. So maybe it's working better, I don't know. But yeah, it's relatively painless for me anyway. I know some people say it's like the worst thing ever, but I do think I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to pain and I don't find it too bad. Um, anyway, I'm gonna fake tan. What fake tan shall I use? I'm such a fake tan hoarder because I love every single one for different reasons. Yeah, all of my fake tans I have, I love for different reasons. But it's rather late in the day and I don't wanna wear a fake tan in bed. So I'm gonna go for one that will develop nicely and that won't transfer onto any sheets and one's just easy. I'll show you some of my faves actually. Okay, I'm gonna go for my Wonder Oil today. This is by Tan Lux. This doesn't really have any sort of transfer. So this applies like an oil um, and you kind of get color after maybe like three hours and it just keeps on developing, but you just don't have that like sticky tan smelly feeling. Um, this smells like strawberry yogurt, it's really nice. But yeah, Tan Lux are one of my faves. I also love Vita Liberata. I do really like Bondi Sands. It's probably like the darkest color that I have. My only issue with Bondi Sands is that it transfers. I'm not a massive fan of transferring tans. Vita Liberata, I love that because it lasts really well. Like it can last up to two weeks apparently. But the reason why I like it so much is that you don't get like that tiger bread um, effect on your skin. It just kind of fades quite naturally. I also love Molly May's brand. Filtered by Molly May. Her tan is incredible. Yeah, so got quite a lot but i do love them all so now the plan is i've got just some comfortable clothes whilst my fake tan is marinating and then i was quickly packing a bag because i'm heading down to brighton this weekend as my parents aren't in so i'm going to be looking after little baby jaspy who is our kitten if you guys don't know so yeah i'm just going to quickly pack a little weekend bag oh no he's gonna have your advent calendar and you're not here you can have it <laughs> Do you want my advent calendar while I'm not here? Mm -hmm. I need someone to look after it for me and take care of it, you know? Well, if you do need someone to. Yeah. Guys, look what my parents got me this year. So cute. My mum says that no matter how old I am, she's always gonna get me an advent calendar. And she went all out this year. I've never had a lint one before. When my brother and I were young, we'd have to share a fair trade one. Oh yeah, to have a lint one, I feel rather special. Thank you, mum. And Bee's gonna be taking care of it whilst I'm so away. <laughs> Anyway guys, I've just finished packing and I'm now going to drive down to Brighton to look after our lovely little kitten. I really hope you enjoyed Vlogmas episode 3 and I will see you next time. I love you all so, so, so much. Bye! Mwah.